Nice morning for a post-maintenance flight. Steering's 
seems to be in good order after you replace a trunnion. My trunnion had developed a crack. It was time for it to go. Fuel also left or right doesn't matter at this point. We're on the right. Brakes are set. Trim, neutral. Light control is free. Incorrect. I forgot to uh, lock my aspect here. Let's see your lights. Light up. Light slip light is there. Entrance set, so that's set there. We're just kind of going out, so. No need for GPS. Got the ATIS for coming back, although it's not going to matter too much. Just check the windsock. We got Unicom. Got that set in. Level, that's level, that's good. I'll set my heading bug. Backup attitude indicator is good, oil temp's good, fuel pressure is good, amperage is good. Check the autopilot real quick. If we turn this on, it should go to the right. It does. We'll break it. Do it again. Can I overpower it? Yes. Circuit breakers, all good. All right. Good, green, green. All the temp and oil pressure. Pull it to idle, make sure it still runs. Still runs, lean it out. Okay, we did the max, the prop, the air, the vacuum. Vacuum is over there. Fuel pressure, amps, oil pressure, oil temperature, throttle, all right. looking for anything with the oil we're good there the other thing we did was replaced a gasket on the number six cylinder it had a little bit of a leak so we'll be watching that as well just want to make sure my oil pressures are all good there's no oil on the windscreen all right I don't see anybody behind schedule of what I wanted to do today, but it's all good. We're not going to be up in the air very long. Oh, well, the other thing I did since I last flew was I uh, replaced the seals on my Bose headset. So, new seals. I've heard horror stories of getting the new seals on, but actually mine went on just fine. That was nice. Compass showing south, we are pointed south. Alright. Only 52 degrees, so engine performance should be really good. We'll do no flap takeoff. Your 
latch there, we're latched there, latched in the back. No flaps, we'll do the mixture. Pompedo heat, no pedo heat. Doors, we don't have any door seals, no air conditioner. The fan is off. We'll go ahead and put our carbon. Departing runway 36, we're going to the north. Now, Holly. Hold it up. So if we 
you want to be really lazy, or precise, throw on the GPS steering, throw that in there. GPS is working. All right, we got Bradford in less than 15 miles. Fuel pumps off, landing lights off. Not for the last time I actually went VFR. Been doing all IFR lately. So, our two bearing is zero zero two. About one degree off, as normal. Nice up here today. Although later day might not be so nice. How's the oil? Oil 189, temperature, pressure 74. Still nothing coming out of there. We'll check for leaks when we get back off the number six. Number six is normally my highest temperature, um, head cylinder temperature, and it's the same. And nothing crazy on the EGTs either. Everything's acting normally. A little bit of fog down there. Alright, coming within 10 miles here. We're at 11 right now for Bradford. Alright, so the Bradford 002 radial. I guess like a five. There's the windmill. So we hit the windmill farm. So I guess the windmill farm, if I ever had to know, is about nine DME to Bradford. O line fog down there. Just out in the middle of nowhere. River's that way. I think it'd almost be over there. But hey. Something must have cooled something off. Alright, autopilot's working as expected. Get a little bit of wind up here now. Our cross track has changed. Well, actually, now we're on the 003 radio. Surprise those uh, totally calm back at our airport. But the windmill's over here. Right, Cassie, for airport, Cassie, 4908, miles east to the airport, should be passing over midfield, heading west at 2100. Windmills over here are, are going. They've got wind. Maybe that explains our need for wind correction, huh? All right, we're back on the 002. We're going to do this at 5 DME here. traffic. Alright, 5 DME, we have a bearing error of 1 degree, which is within tolerance. I will sign this when I get back on the ground. Alright, well, what we're going to do is go back to the airport. I'll just go on heading mode. I had autopilot worked on a little while ago, so I want to kind of make sure that it's acting correctly here. Perfect. 
Belts, boost, gas, undercarriage, here we come. Mixture, prop on final. Three green. Ears down, that's good. It didn't get hung up or anything. Yeah, we'll get a bit of a crab now here. Right down Allen Road. Mountain traffic lands five, nine or six, nine Victor. Left down on way three six, full stop mountain. Alright, we're all lit up. We are under the shelf. We are under class Charlie right now. We are downwind. Yeah. Wind sock. Uh, never mind, it's a unit up. Yeah. It's still kind of doing nothing. We've done gumps except for the prop. Here we come, a beam. Pull up to about 1500. Nose down. First notch of flaps. Traffic line 69 Victor, left base, runway 36, full stop, mountain. A little more, man, full pressure. A little less right, runner. coming at us. We'll have to be RFR to do that. Molly well, traffic line 69 Victor, final runway 36, full stop now. And I blew that one, didn't I?
back up. Point crosswind now. Definitely not a textbook uh, pattern there, so sorry about that. No, will read me out if I post this. Let's stop here and clean it up. Flaps, fuel pump, landing light. Flaps, fuel pump, landing light. Pedo heat was not on trim. All right. And clean it out. All right, so just a uh, quick post-maintenance flight. Everything seemed to be running fine. We'll check for any leaks under the cowling here. See how good of a parking job I can do today. I'm usually a terrible parker. All right. Thanks for coming along and uh, try to make better videos in the future, so 